this bridge, uh, albeit it appears very simple, but yet a very complicated process of keeping the impact on the wetlands minimal. We were looking for a good environmentally sound and, and uh, uh, view friendly way to bridge two of our facilities that are, are, are close together. And the bridge is actually supported on steel helical piers that are rotated into the ground, made out of steel, so very little uh, environmental impact on the, on, the, on the wetlands that we're building the bridge across. And one of the most exciting things for us is at the end of the day with the helical piers that Mike Willis installed, there's, there's virtually uh, uh, very small, I, I, do you remember the, off the top of your head the square, foot of, square feet of impact? Uh, technically less than one square foot for the entire bridge, which is about 150 feet long. A difficult job in the sense of the actual project itself, but the challenges presented by working in the wetlands made it, made it interesting. And there was Rich Nelson with, and his crew from Peachtree Construction that actually did the upper part of the, uh, the, the structural work of the, of the walkway itself. Uh, Rich and your crew. Hi, my name is Mike Willis. I have, uh, I have this uh, helical anchor installation uh, firm. It's called Stabilized Structures. We're out of Taftsville, Vermont. Um, today we are installing uh, helical anchors uh, for a wetland walkway. Uh, the helical anchors are made by AB Chance Company out of Centralia, Missouri. And they're a unit of Hubble. Um, and so they, they fabricate these steel piers with hypertherm plasma cutting equipment. It's a solid steel shaft with individual helices welded to it. So it, it's always fun to see um, um, equipment that's actually fabricated with hypertherm plasma and fun that it's been used here on this bridge. The, the, the anchors are um, designed uh, based upon classic uh, end bearing pile theory. Uh, the torque that's applied to advance them has been correlated to bearing capacity and so we're monitoring the torque applied as they're being introduced into the ground, they're being advanced. Um, the, the pieces we're using today are, are double helix configuration on the lead shaft section and we have five foot extensions that we're adding to them as needed. So we monitor the hydraulic pressure as we're advancing it, and we know where we are with respect to depth and how deep we have to go, how much torque we have to develop in order to develop the capacity that we need. The advantage of these anchors in a wetland environment like this is that there's, there's no excavation. There's, uh, I'm using a small, very small rubber tracked uh, piece of equipment. There's no concrete to pour. As you can see, the anchors that have already been installed, there's little or no disturbance. We're doing it on a frost, uh, you know, a frozen ground, and uh, we'll be in and out of here within a couple of days.